What's up guys? <laughs> What's going on everyone? My name's Steve. Welcome back to another episode of The Line Cook. Today, we're out here trout fishing, hopefully catching some rainbow trout. You don't get many days like this in the fall. It's like 60 degrees, absolutely gorgeous, and a perfect time to be on the river catching some trout. The flows are looking really good out here, and I'm gonna start off today by slinging around some woolly buggers. I got an olive woolly bugger there tied on right now. I'll switch it up as we go. Maybe I'll nymph, maybe I'll change the patterns a little bit, but that's the plan so far. I wanna thank everybody who's been watching these videos. If you don't know, we did hit the 1,000 subscriber mark, so I'm super happy about that, and I can't thank you enough for watching. So hopefully we're gonna do a catch and cook today. Let's see what we can catch out there. And that'll start it off. Just gonna strip that woolly bugger back to me. Big, big drop offs here. It's kind of just drifting down. When I get it to that point of the river, I'll let it swing. And repeat. Man, there's not one single person out here. I got this whole river to myself. I mean, look at it. It's kind of like a little gorge. Got a little kind of mountain there, sort of. River kind of runs through it. It's just really beautiful. A lot of trouty looking spots. Sometimes it's hard to decide where you want to fish, but I'm looking for the deeper holes. That really shallow water, the riffly kind of water, I'm just going to pass that up. I'm trying to think, uh, you know, if I was a trout, where would I want to be right now? And I think it's the deeper water. Oh, there's a big trout in here. It's got to be. Water's got a little stain to it, but it's not, it's really not that dirty. So the visibility is pretty good. Not crystal clear, but not, not super cloudy. Oh, little tangle. See, right in this pool here, you got those rocks. It's a nice spot. It's gotta be a trout in here. Come on. Uh, sometimes it takes a second to figure them out. If I'm not feeling this, I might switch it. Switch it up. Start nymphing, you know? All right, I think it's time to make a little change. All right. The next setup, there's the nymph, just a tiny little fly. And then above that, I got a little orange salmon egg. And that's tied directly to the hook. Let's see if that gets some bites. I had to add a little bit of weight because I just don't think I was getting down there enough. So I was fishing right there downstream and obviously I wasn't recording, but out of nowhere, I heard a huge boom and it was just this tree snapped right in half and splashed in the water. It was just, that was crazy. I can't believe that. I mean, all of the debris, all the way over here. Gosh, if you're like standing on that rock or something fishing in this pool, holy crap. Man, weird day today. First I see that tree. Now I hear somebody blowing off an air horn. I tried to see where it was coming from, but then it stopped.
Oh, I got him. Oh, finally. Oh, I got him. He was right there. Oh, that's a big fish too. Oh, that's a good one. Keeping him pinned. Oh, it's a pretty fish. Nice looking. Oh, he's taking off. Really strong fish with the cold water. My gosh. Oh, God. Get back up here. Strong fish. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a tank. Another tank. Holy cow. With the little, with this little fly in his mouth. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. I think I'm gonna let this guy go, this big girl. Try to get a smaller one here for the catch and cook. I'm gonna revive this fish. Look at how long this fish is. Oh my gosh. It's been like five minutes of this now. I just don't think she's going to be strong enough to make it. I really don't. He's kicking a little bit, but just going belly up. I did have the intentions on releasing the big ones like this. Usually, I mean, the smaller trout, I think, tastes better a little bit too. But I'll give her a little more time, and if she's not going to kick off, then we're going to keep her for the catching cook. No, nah, this fish is not going to make it. So we're going to go ahead and put it out of its misery, and we're going to use this for the catching cook. All right, so you can definitely tell that this is a big old breeder fish. You can see that tail there from rubbing against the tank a little bit. I really tried my best to revive that fish. It was a really long fight. By the time I got her to the bank, I did keep her in the water the whole time. And uh, it was just, the fish was just exhausted. I tried to revive it for around 10 minutes in the water and it just didn't want to kick off. Now I am going to keep this fish for a catch and cook. And as always, I make sure that this fish is put to use. Nothing ever goes to waste here and I only ever keep what I need. So this big fish here is going to be plenty for dinner. And we're gonna do an awesome recipe for this, probably right around here. All right, guys, so I'm set up here right on the river. I got my catch right there. It's a beautiful afternoon. We got about an hour left of sunlight to do this catch and cook. It really kind of worked out because I didn't catch any other fish after that. So we got this beautiful trout here, as you can see. And we're gonna fillet him up to do this catch and cook right here on the river. So my recipe here today is going to be, I'm going to sear that rainbow trout. I got some beautiful mushrooms. I'm going to cook those up as well. And I'm going to do some rosemary duck fat potatoes. Let's get started making this guys. So if you know, rainbow trout have pin bones that run about halfway down the fish. Once you take those rib bones out, this whole tail portion is bone free. And since I don't have tweezers, I'm going to use this section of the fish for the catch and cook. And I got this tail piece right here. Gonna skin that. And that is a perfect little portion right there. All right, so I got these beautiful potatoes right here. And this is the duck fat. You're gonna take some of that. You can be nice and generous with them. Put some of this rosemary right in there. Just a little. 
nice salt and pepper. It's like nice potatoes, they're hearty. It's a good woods meal. Wrap them up. And stick those bad boys right on the grill. These potatoes behind me, you just open that grill a little bit and you can smell the rosemary. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be good. So I think this is a good time to say, if you're new to the channel and you like videos like this, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more catching cooks in nature. Just cooking outside. Well, we got beautiful oyster mushrooms. Just gonna quarter those up. Get that melting for the mushrooms. I'm gonna put those mushrooms in there. Just a little salt and pepper. We're gonna put some rosemary in there too. Get some nice color on those mushrooms. All right, those mushrooms are looking great. I'm just gonna put them in a little foil and stick them right next to the potatoes to keep them warm. All right, so we're gonna get a really nice sear in this fish. I'm gonna show you how I do that. I'm just gonna put a little salt and pepper on the fish. And the key is you want a really hot pan. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there. Smoking hot. Then we're gonna take our fish, nice side, meaning not the bloodline side, put that nice side down right in the oil, away from you. Just let it sit there for a second. So you can see that white part just starting to creep up that fish. It means we're getting a nice crisp on that fish. It's getting cooked. All right, you ready for the flip? So we're gonna flip and look at that golden trout. It's gonna lower the heat. You can actually turn the heat off at this point. And you can see that beautiful color there on the fish. We're gonna put some butter in the pan with some rosemary. And this is a very French way to cook fish. We're gonna just melt that butter. You can put a little of the rosemary right on top of that fish. And we're gonna baste it. See that butter just foaming up? Oh my gosh. Now we are going to unveil these potatoes. Woo! Oh man, look at those. Holy cow. Oh man, then we got the mushrooms. Those get piled right on there. Would you look at that? <laughs> Unbelievable. That's a duck fat roasted potato with some mushrooms and a seared trout. Look at that fish, that mushroom. Oh my gosh. Whoa, my fork broke. That is unreal. That is unreal. The crisp on that fish, you could just hear it. Oh my gosh. The rosemary. This is so good. I mean, look at that fish. Oh my gosh. I'm in heaven right now. This is absolutely delicious. All I can say to that is wow.
All right, guys, it's getting dark. I think we're getting to the end of this video here, and I just gotta say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this catch and cook right here on the river. Until the next catch and cook or a fishing vid or something like that, I'll see you on the next one, guys. See you next time on The Line Cook.